is selling unspecified goods in an unspecified state and most likely an unspecified country. Welcome back to Cafeteria Drama, folks. First of all, two omelets again this week. Olga was slinging the omelet Friday and it was delicious. Finally, I don't know what it took, but Bon Appetit got their <laughs> together and we're finally getting omelets every week. Not just one, two now. Crazy stuff, really crazy. Also crazy, Tendy Tuesday, kind of a letdown this week. Tenders were dry and flavorless. Not sure what that's about, but hopefully it's better moving forward. That's all I got for you this week. Go Lions, go Thunder. Welcome back to Quote a Week. And let me tell you, we got a real gift for you this week with this quote. Comes from, once again, our beloved Trine Chemical Engineering Department. It goes a little something like this. You get some kind of Doppler shift. Adam Answers Yes, sponsored by... What's up, Bukov News? I'm here with this guy who's going to introduce himself right now and he doesn't know it. I am Cameron. So, Cameron, tell us where we are right now. Wrong answers only. Ooh. Um, we are in Dexter's bathroom. There's a body in that shower. <laughs> well, uh, on another note, here's Caleb. <laughs> Okay, back with another uh, question of the question of the week. Um, Cam, <laughs> um, you get a clone. There's two of you now. Yeah. And you got to fight an animal, any animal, in its natural habitat. Your clone doesn't have to survive. What animal do you think you can kill? Mm, not a moose. Not a yeah, moose. that'd be a stupid answer. <laughs> it would be. Because you guys are weak. <laughs> but I think I could do a wolf. A wolf? Yeah. Okay, yeah. guys, now that we've had Cam in Dexter's bathroom answer it. It's your turn, answer in the comments. Which channel do you think you could be with the clone? Thank you, Cam. You're welcome. We really appreciate your time with us. Uh, can you say, my name's Cam and I approve this message? My name is Cam and I approve this message. Okay. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen of the press, I'm going to level with you this week, I saw campus safety watch a car run the stop sign at the railroad tracks. And this is deeply concerning. I cross those railroad tracks every single day. That truck could have ran me over and campus safety just watched them go right on by. Secondly, on more important news and happy news, in the commercial, you saw a new segment this week. And let me tell you, I much approve of it, and I think it should continue going forward. And thirdly, Chan and I are currently getting built by Hershey. I will now open it up to the pool for questions. Brett Smalls here from Talia Boyd. Quick question for you, Travis. So naturally, there has been recent reports of a certain writing event reoccurring once again here on Trine's campus. And I'm wondering, will your prompt this year, dare I say it, win first place this year, and how confident do you feel on your prompt? I will probably not get first, as I am notably not part of the internal club that is the Humanity Center. I am hoping to place for the fourth time in fifth year, five years though, and I think that's an accomplishment in itself. Thank you, have a great week. Welcome back folks to Non-Engineering New of the Week. I'm filling in for Big Mike this week, who is selling unspecified goods in an unspecified state and most likely an unspecified country. Anyways, there was a question in the comments last week about comparing Winter Thunderland to Thunderfest last year. Considering I don't know what Thunderfest is, we're just gonna talk about Winter Thunderland. It was pretty awesome. There was ice skating, bumper cars, the food was low key disappointing. Could have used a junk food alley instead of just cookies and hot chocolates. But overall, I had a good time and it was a pretty good outing. Other than that, not much to say. Have a good week. I'm Caleb Cruz. I'm Michael Cruz. And we approve this message. Take it easy. <laughs>
Take it easy.